We bet the first thing that comes to mind when you hear about the Apple Watch Ultra is that it is rugged, durable, fit for every weather condition, very handy for outdoor activities, has nicer straps, and many more. The good attributes could go on and on. But did you know there are some facts about the watch that Apple does not want you to know? Really? Why? Luckily for you, this video will serve you with a couple of these hidden facts about the Apple Watch Ultra. Here are three facts about Apple Watch Ultra Apple wouldn't want you to know. Let's get started. Apple Watch Ultra is not any different from previous models. Don't get me wrong, but the Apple Watch Ultra is not that different from the previous models like how Apple is a device to be. It of course has a bit of an upper hand than the previous versions, but looking at their prices and functions, it is safe to say spending almost $1,000 to own an Ultra is not worth it. Yeah, but it's, it's too expensive. Talking about pricing, we give you a bonus tip of getting the functions of the Apple Watch Ultra in other devices at a cheaper price. Watch to the end to know more about this. If we compare the Apple Watch Ultra to the Series 8, the Ultra has only a few extra features such as a programmable action button, a built-in siren, a depth gauge, a brighter screen, a night mode feature on the Wayfender face, a better GPS, and stronger battery. Aside from these, there is nothing so special about the Apple Watch Ultra that it should cost hundreds of dollars more than the Series 8. For instance, both watches operate on the same watch OS 9 which means they have an almost equal user experience. They both have the car crash detection feature just like most Apple watches, fault detection, ECG and the blood oxygen app. They both also have the Dewey 3 chip and U1 chip and run on the same S8 processor. They also have the same body temperature sensor, heart rate sensor, blood oxygen sensor, and the same IP6X water resistance feature, as well although the Ultra can resist water up to 100 meters, while the Series 8 resists up to only 50 meters. Both watches are rated for similar dust resistance, but the Apple Watch Ultra is more water resistant than the Apple Watch Series 8. Apple Watch Series 8 is rated for 50 meters of water resistance, whereas the Apple Watch Ultra is rated for 100 meters. Apple says the Apple Watch Series 8 is also swim-proof, whereas the Apple Watch Ultra is rated for scuba diving all the way down to 40 meters. Apple has additional certifications to back this up. The Series 8 even comes with the Compass Backtrack feature, which is one of the main selling features of the Apple Watch Ultra and offers more options than the Watch Ultra, which comes with only a titanium design, one color option and only one size option of 49 millimeters. The Series 8 on the other hand comes with four aluminum color models and three stainless steel colors to choose from. Comes in a wide variety of colors. Colors? It also has GPS and GPS and cellular models, unlike the Ultra, which is limited to only GPS and cellular models. Considering all these similarities, it is safe to say that the Apple Watch Ultra is not something totally unique compared to the Series 8 and other older models. That is why we believe it is overpriced. Doc, that's way too much! Keep watching to the end. We'll explain our reasons. Apple Watch Ultra is not always functional. For a smart watch with this price tag, one would expect the Apple Watch Ultra to be fully functional, no matter the country one finds himself in. Contrast to that, it is the opposite. You will have to be in some specific countries to enjoy certain features of the Apple Watch Ultra. Not being in such countries automatically limits the functionality of the watch. A typical example is the limited cellular support of the Apple Watch Ultra. According to Apple, users can stream music, send texts, get emergency assistance in some countries once their international roaming network is active, and even make calls with the Apple Watch Ultra. Uh, hey there, I'm just wondering if you guys have any uh, ice available today. The earliest one we have is 4.15. Yeah, four, yeah, that's fine. 4.15 works. Yeah, 4.15, per you're in. Perfect, thanks. He doesn't know that I'm on a watch. However, the Ultra has cellular models that have been programmed to be functional only in countries they were purchased. For instance, an Apple Watch Ultra purchased in the U.S. will only be compatible with carriers in the U.S., Mexico, Canada, and Puerto Rico meaning that the texting, calling, and streaming functions of the Ultra will cease to be available once a user travels from these areas to Europe. 
This means you'll have to apply for international roaming to access these features which also come with extra cost. It is one reason why we see the Apple Watch Ultra as not worth it. We give more reasons at the latter part of the video. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel to know more about the facts that Apple is hiding from you. We're here to do the digging and feed you with rare facts that you can't find elsewhere. And don't forget to smash the bell icon as well so you don't miss out on any of our updates. Now let's continue. Apple Watch Ultra is overpriced. Again, this is one fact Apple would not want you to know. But the truth is that the Apple Watch Ultra is overpriced. We can't afford it. Now let's look at what the Apple Watch offers which is probably the reason for its expensive price. According to Apple, the Apple Watch Ultra is made for sporting and outdoor activities such as hiking, running, diving, etc. And that's why specialized bands for outdoor adventures, endurance training and water sports are as meticulously crafted as the watch itself to perfectly fit the watch. If these special bands are part of the price hike, then again, it is safe to say it is overpriced. This is because you can equally fit other older Apple bands perfectly into the Apple Watch Ultra to function just as the main watch bands would. Again, you can as well purchase other brands which are also compatible with the Apple Watch Ultra for lesser prices. Another reason we think the Apple Watch Ultra is overpriced is the features it offers. Most of the distinguishing features of the Apple Watch Ultra are those that can be used for outdoor adventures. For example, compass waypoints, advanced back tracking system, and even the siren are all designed to assist the user when going on an adventure. Aside from these, almost all the features that the Apple Watch Ultra has are already in the older Apple Watch versions. To think that an everyday Apple Watch user who is not interested in using the Ultra for any outdoor activity has to pay a hopping $799 for features that are already on older Apple Watches is quite ridiculous. Bonus Fact Here's one extra fact that Apple would not want you to know about the Apple Watch Ultra. You could get a similar watch that is almost the same as the Ultra in terms of design and function at a very low cost. An example is the Frankenwatch that offers you all the features of the Ultra that you'll most likely need for just $352. You can check it out on Amazon to get yours as well as other optional watches with similar functionalities at a lower cost. Final words. You cannot deny that the Apple Watch Ultra is Apple's best smartwatch so far. It has a bigger screen, better battery, and can be used in almost every weather condition. But considering that its selling features are not that exceptional from the older Apple Watch versions makes its $799 starting price a bit expensive. To make it even worse, users can access its full features in some parts of the world, which is a huge downside. Do you think the features of the Apple Watch Ultra are worth its price? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Still on Apple Watch, you might want to use these tricks on your Apple Watch Ultra to make things easier for you. Click on the next video to know all about these tricks and more. Do well to share it with your friends as well. See you next time.